UPS man just showed up, so I'm going to do a quick, quick unboxing video. This is Palmetto State's, uh, this is actually the P-TAC model, slick side, heavy M4 barrel. Uh, so this is their rifle kit. This you can order right to your home. It does not actually contain the firearm. The firearm itself you have to buy separately. You can have it the same, but you have to have it shipped to an FFL. There's mine. That is an Anderson uh, lower um, that I had pre previously purchased. And this is all that you need, the actual firearm, with this kit to make the AR rifle. This is the slick side upper. Um, they have a good sale price on that right now. Um, but here it is. Uh, let's take a look. First impressions here. Uh, that's their heavier barrel. It does look a little bit longer and thicker, or rather thicker. It's a 16 inch barrel. Uh, finish looks good. Don't see any scratches, any marks right off hand. Flip it over. I'm on, it's like a new pair of shoes for me. If there's any scratches or anything, I get kind of frustrated with it, but yet. I'm guaranteed to scratch it about the first three minutes that I pull it out of the box. So let's take a peek, see if I can pull it out with one hand. This is the uh, charging handle and uh, bolt carrier group. This comes with the chrome lined, they said, chrome lined bolt carrier group. See the firing pin in there. Uh, this is the full auto version. Um, any noob, newbies for ARs, that does not mean this will not fire full auto. That would actually be in the lower control package, uh, and that is not legal um, without a big big fines and bigger, uh, big licensing from the government um, and a manufacturing type license from an FFL, I believe it is. So it's just not, not feasible to have. Uh, but what we can do is this is a full auto bolt, and so what this does is just a little bit thicker. It's a little bit more... Um, a little bit more durable, uh, which is kind of nice. So it could be used in a full auto, although full auto is not not legal. It's not going to happen. So let me slide this back together if I can, one-handed. Got to go in there, kind of go together, get the whole unit to slide in. So. that. One-handed. I'm not as good. I'm trying to watch the camera and this at the same time. So slides in there just like that. Uh, the slick side does not have the um, dust cover and it does not have the forward assist which uh, forward assist is I guess for me is pretty rare. I have never used that. It would be nice if they just did the dust cover and scrapped the forward assist. I don't know what that would cost for them to put those hinges and mount that on there but it uh, would be kind of nice to have that in there but um, the other part of the package is this big package, and in there you got a butt stock. I haven't even opened this yet. Let's rip it open. The butt stock. Palmetto State uh, PSA lower parts kit. This is what they send you if you just order a lower parts kit. They just throw it in the box, apparently. Um, so we've got the firing uh, control group, fire control group. Got a kind of just typical pistol grip handle, uh, and then this would have the mag release in there, this would have the uh, safety in there, that type of stuff, trigger guard, um, and then the last part is the buffer tube assembly, to go on the back of the gun, feels like the actual buffer is inside of there, it's a little heavier than what I would expect, so they must just flip it in backwards and send it, so that's it. That is it. Right now they've got this on sale for $2.99. Shipping was $15, I want to say. $17 maybe. And then I had picked up a lower at a at a local gun dealer and I got that for $40 out the door. So I will have when it's all said and done less than uh, less than 350 into an AR. I think 358 actually is what I had totaled up. So that's pretty impressive. $358. You have a lower with your front sight already in there. Um, you get a back sight and you're ready to be shooting. Um, obviously this is ready for any optics as well. You can swap out hand guards. Those of you who have seen ARs, you can really modify these any way you want. Um, uppers, lowers, whatever else. This is the 556223. 
Um, but we can really kind of go any direction we want to, up to a big 50 cal Beowulf. So that's my unboxing video. I'll put this together. Uh, it will probably take me about a half an hour. I'm not the most uh, experienced in putting these together. Um, we'll put it together, and then we'll give some initial thoughts once we put it together and uh, shoot it up a little bit. Thank you very much. All right, like I said, these are the first rounds. Um, we do have a problem. I did not pull this apart. I slid the mag in. The mag locked in fine. I cannot get the mag out. Uh, the mag release is just jammed with that rubber. So, again, make sure all these surfaces are metal. I'm going to have to take this whole thing down. And apparently I'm going to have to blow through uh, all 30 rounds in this P-Mag, which actually I'm quite fine with. So, let's, uh, let's give it a try. First go. Have not been shot before. Failure two. Failure to feed. That's not all the way in. That's all of them. Not too bad, had some hiccups. Um, again, I think the mag is not sitting well with the mag release. Uh, just isn't, something's binding up in there in the mag release, so I don't think it's sitting all, seated all the way. So uh, we're gonna tear that apart, make sure there's no rubber on any of the metal parts. Otherwise, I'm real happy with this finish. It's firmed up after about 36 hours. I think it's gonna be fairly durable. Again, we laid it on pretty thick. Uh, I thought I was going to lose the logo, and uh, I thought I'd have to peel it off the, the serial number of the gun. And that didn't end up the case. After a while, it just dried and it shrunk down in there. So I think it's a good product to use, and I think I'm going to end up pulling the upper off, tearing that apart and coating it as well because it just turns out into a really nice color. Kind of gives a little bit of a hammered appearance, um, and I think it's going to be just a little bit more durable. So there you go, ultra cheap. $348 we've got into it. We'll put a rear sight on this and we'll be a little over $350, but under $360. Uh, $7 sling and a couple other things. Again, for under $350 to have an AR, it's just an unheard of price. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe below.